respected dear family members my pranams to you today morning i could upload something connected with andaman islands the cellular jail and the sufferings experienced by the freedom fighters in the beginning of the 20th century when it was uploaded and many people happened to see that many people from world over called me over phone and send emails that i should upload the message of cellular jail and whatever i could see in andaman islands in english also so i thought i will do it at the earliest that's why today itself i am uploading the second message one in malayalam another in english i happened to go to andaman islands based on the invitations of v kananda kendra for delivering lectures to the students government officials scientists and uh, college and school teachers it was a long pending ambition in my mind that uh, i should visit the the torture the painful dealings the harassment etc done by the britishers against indians including savarkar and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of freedom fighters i had very many ambitions to visit different places perhaps this one is the most painful and from the core of my heart i cannot explain that without a tears in my ears and uh, i can explain only with vibrating words the sufferings of indians sufferings of the indians which they were forced to face only only because they they fought for their motherland i reached there on 8th of this month november after two three classes i directly went there and whenever i was walking through the cellular jail the movie in malayalam known as kalapani i think the same movie has also got released in hindi i do not know whether its name is kalapani or not kalapani is the hindi name of port blair and the cellular jail is in port blair even now we remember the name of that particular island and that name was given after blair who was one among the mariners british mariners and who did his level best 
as a support of this torture. Cellular jail is in pot player. Adjacent Rose Island is there. Sitting, sleeping, enjoying and entertaining the horrible Britishers, the cruel Britishers who suppressed, oppressed and depressed Indians, tortured Indians and did everything against the freedom fighters. These English people ruled enjoying and entertaining in Rose Islands which even today appears to be a beautiful island. And the sufferings of Indians happen to be in Port Blair. The history is written everywhere. The first ship of the prisoners reached there with the two doctors and nearly 800 of prisoners and few British policemen using three crore bricks they built a perfect jail cellular jail the moment one enters the room nothing outside can be seen the civil engineering and the horrible British leader they were enjoying the beauty of Port Blair Island and the first command of the British ruler was that these prisoners should never see the external world except when they come out of their cell. They were all chained. And when you are walking, when we are walking through the jail, we could, we can hear the heartbeat of the pain suffered by our freedom fighters there. Many people, almost all, were not only chained in the cell, jail, cellular jail, but also their legs were chained with the iron bar, not real chain. And these iron bars in the leg were connected with the chain in the hand. That connection is also given as iron bar, iron road. And then nobody can move beyond one foot on one step. And they were beaten like anything. The special system were designed for beating the prisoners by keeping them in a slanting position in this slanting board. Only with the underwear they were beaten and they were forced to make kilograms and kilograms of mustard oil and coconut oil every day far beyond the capacity of each prisoner. They had to do everything for the Britishers and for themselves. Sometimes food was given, sometimes food was not given. Sometimes only water which is used for cooking the rice is given. And Savarkar's room we happened to visit. Many people were crying there, taking photograph. I request it to you at least in your life once you should go to Andaman. In lean tourist season it is not that costly. You can get the pulse of our, our freedom fighters. 
where they were given the food far worse than worse than the cattle shed we could see a mandapam where these prisoners are allowed to pray for few seconds before them before hanging them all the three semi plastic palmyra leaves it was not plastic palmyra leaf ropes are still remain intact the britishers used to hang three people at a stretch for saving time and the hanging system is remaining intact and perfect not even a single brick anywhere has got moved or become dilapidated condition so perfect construction nobody can come out of that mainly because the walls are powerfully strong the hooks and the lock even an elephant cannot break that other than that the legs are connected with an iron rod which cannot be removed at all and from the leg iron rod the connection through another iron rod as i told you comes to the hand even you can see many people got mad and englishers thought that these are all drama acting savarkar dry died out of this horrible torture vomiting blood many people were not allowed to die of their own death but hanged and they were beaten to the core those places and sticks you can see we have gone through the museum when i am telling this to you literally my mind is boiling i was thinking at that time suppose i would have been a person inside that jail i do not even have the freedom to commit suicide nothing is available for committing suicide i cannot get poison i cannot get a knife i cannot use the same iron rod used to hook my legs i cannot keep my hands free for removing that iron rod and for committing suicide that pain is intolerable and even to imagine we could listen the shouting of the prisoners the slogan supporting bharat mata of course no slogan against english people if anyone shout a slogan against english people he would have been butchered and every corner you can see how how these prisoners were kept up. remember that during the second world war these prisoners were there for two decades three decades some four decades even they suffered that much in without even allowing to die it so happened in 1942 or so the rose island and the nearby islands were conquered by japanese army and many of the indian all of the indian prisoners thought that the japan will save them 
Japanese army will save them. Most unfortunately you can see the history tells you Japanese army thought that all Indians are Britishers agents so they massacred Indian Indian freedom fighters. The treatment of Japanese soldiers was much worse than the British people. Many died. When I listened that, when I was explained that the boards explain all those things, not the individual. First time in my life I felt so happy the then American president, a true man, the then American president, a true man, for showing the American capability to Germany, France and England, even after Japanese army conquered, he put two atom bomb in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. I am sure after after seeing the torture, reading the torture of Japanese army that implemented against Indian freedom fighters. Now, then also when I was visiting Port Blair Cellular Jail on 8th of November this, this month, I felt so happy that two atom bombs in Japan is the correct reward or punishment given by nature towards the cruelty of Japanese soldiers done against India. As a person who is standing for Satyam, Dharma, Niti, Nyaya, I should not have told that I felt happy when two atom bombs were put in Japan. But the torture written there done by Japanese army forced me to tell that. That's why I'm telling this. And the eight line octagon of the jail in the center the British people, British British uh, jailer used to control them and anywhere any negative occurred. If the work given did not complete in time, even if it is far beyond the capability of that particular prisoner without food to do that work, the torture is something beyond the imagination. Even Savarkar was forced to drink toilet water with all fishes in that. Most unfortunately, many places you can even today listen. Savarkar is a, is a Hindu a Hindu communalist. I would like to say one thing. If you go there and see all the museum, the picture and the name of the people who was forced to die, got hanged or butchered, not even a single Christian in that list. And when I just asked the person who were accompanying us, he told me that world over any country used to fight with the three forces that is air force, naval force, army force. But Britishers fought India against Indian freedom and freedom fighters with the four forces. First three as I told you earlier, the air force the second one is the naval force and the third one is the army force. And the fourth one is the church force. That church force is continuing in India even today. At that time they were supporting Britishers and now they are supporting India government. 
and remember that including BJP people who are so ferociously talking about India and Indian heritage and freedom movement and sacrifice no ruler nobody from Congress or communist or leftist or rightist or BJP have ever gone there if the so-called prince and the princess who are ruling now in India or going to rule India if they would have gone to the cellular jail at least a pinch of the pain in that air you will get it when Jallianwala bag massacre occurred for consoling myself I would like to say whatever or others just ordered firing and within minutes within minutes all those who assembled breathed the last including Mahatma Gandhi even if it is painful breathed the last within one minute after hitting the bullet but thousand and old prisoners of cellular jail suffered for 20 years 30 years 35 years the horrible torture even the god of death did not come to them when they might have prayed for the death of god to take them no indian politician has seen that cellular jail sometimes when i i listen the speeches of some of these indian politicians i always used to remember the chapel in my leg i know i should not tell that not because of excitement i am talking but that day 8th November I could not take the food after seeing the cellular jail. Even while taking classes in Cary, Port Blair and other colleges my mind was filled with the pain suffered by Indian freedom fighters. Most painful thing is that Many colleges and schools are there in Port Blair. None of them is named after these freedom fighters. There is one college named after Jawaharlal Nehru. Maybe further colleges or school will be named after Sonia Gandhi or Lahul Gandhi. Because we Indians always liked foreigners to rule us we liked the slavery remember that I told you few seconds back in the list those who underwent the torture no Christian name is there recently added Muslim names are there their pictures and their names are engraved there not for fighting Indian freedom but involving in Mopla revolt Mapla Lehala in Malapuram and Kolkot and killing Hindus there the Muslim revolt Mapla Lehala it is called in Malayalam they were all given the pension for freedom fighters but really those who fought for Indian freedom they were all labeled as RSS men and BJP men and, in, and nothing is given. Even today, Savarkar is labeled as an RSS man. In the whole world, nobody would have suffered the torture like Savarkar. Luckily or unintentionally, Port Blair Airport has been named as 
സവർക്കർ ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ എയർപോർട്ട് ഓൾ അതർ നെയിംസ് കമാൻഡർ നെഹ്റു ഫാമിലി ബട്ട് റിമെമ്പർ വെൻ ദി വെർ ഓൾ ടോർച്ചേർഡ് ദോസ് ഹു ടോർച്ചേർഡ് ഇന്ത്യൻ പ്രിസണേഴ്സ് they were forced to use the weapon for beating and cutting and hanging indians in that list in the payment list of british people hindus christians and muslims were there including hindus were participating in butchering the indian freedom fighters sufferers were 100% hindus remember just remember you should know even if you are not going to andaman islands no problem but you should see kalapani malayalam movie i have not seen kalapani hindi movie so i do not know the the feeling that can come from the mind that you can get only from malayalam movie i think at least on a biased way i think i happen to see two three times even if you are not going to andaman kalapani movie you should see i repeat that statement because our motherland suffered a lot even now the coal problem 2g 3g the land the coffin box the other flat those who are behind that they should at least spend one hour in that cellular jail not as a prisoner but as a visitor evening one hour hindi and one hour english narrations with the light and audio systems are there there were about 800 or 900 people when i was there in the evening not even a single individual was talking their fast breathing sound we can hear the pain experienced by the tourist attended that show these people who are real ruling india and bowing their head in front of a foreigner and their her children my request at least from here after you should not denigrate india degrade india others may be doing may not be doing it's not a binding it's not a bearing it should not create a problem it should not create a motivation for you to denigrate our motherland such a great country in the world suffered a lot the most heinous butchering done by timur in 14th century in chandni chowk of delhi few lakhs hindus were killed just by cutting the neck head of the people he thought that the more the number of idolaters were butchered the nearer to allah he can reach even now i feel that one cutting the head may take about 5 minutes or so but in kalapani in the cellular jail of port blair our brothers and forefathers and early relatives they suffered for years and years together if nature is there i think for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction when i reached back home to trandrum on 12th midnight and 13th morning i happened to see in the newspaper prince charles visiting kerala the heir of the british throne visiting kerala and enjoying the rain and water falling 
Ernakulam Trichur district. Hundreds and thousands of policemen were deputed for his protection. Britishers deployed hundreds and thousands of police for killing us, butchering us, hanging us, and Prince Charles might have left India when you are listening this. I as an imaginary person, in my imagination I was thinking he should have taken to the cellular jail. As a visitor, respectable guest of India, he should have taken to the cellular jail. At least he would have told ten times apology to Indians. Not like Pope telling apology to the to the boys and girls, girls created by the missionaries world over. Not like that. But UK, British Prince, the Kidita Avagashi, he should have seen the the massacre done by his own people, people of his forefathers and grandmothers done against India. But for taking him to Port Blair, the rulers of India should have prestige, self-respect, patriotism, nationalism that we Indians do not have now whether it is Congress, whether it is BJP or CPM, leftist, rightist or middleist. They do not have that. So we cannot expect that. At least mentally we can imagine that we have taken the Britishers to the pot player cellular jail for seeing the torture experienced by our forefathers. With these words, I would say Bharat Mata Ki Jai, pronounced to you. Thank you very much.